Welcome to the fourth and final section of our WooTickets new user primer. It all comes down to this. Today is the day of our hypothetical event, and we're going to walk through in this last portion how you can make the most of WooTickets to both manage the event from a site administrator perspective and to keep order as you attend the event from a front end ticket buyer perspective. Now we're going to start from the buyer perspective. Remember in step three, we purchased a, a ticket and we used the check payment method as a buyer. I'm going to go over into that buyer's hypothetical inbox, and here we're looking at the email he received when he placed that check order. Now notice, this just says order received. It doesn't say order complete because this is just showing that the order came through. We're processing, but we need you to send our check so that we can actually get paid before we give you your tickets. This is basically a heads up, but not the final message you're going to receive. Once the site admin has processed that check payment, i.e. they receive it, they mark it as complete on the back end of the site, a second email will be kicked out to the buyer. And that's going to look like this one. It says, order complete, ticket attached. The interface looks similar, but this one explicitly says your order is complete, shows the details of that order, and it has attached to it a PDF ticket. Now if I open this up, you'll see it has the event name, has the name of the ticket holder, which at this point is the buyer. There's no way to differentiate between specific ticket holders. They're all going to show the buyer's name, though that will be changing in a subsequent release. Shows the venue, as was configured for the event, and includes some, includes some details specific to this ticket, the order number, the ticket number, and the verification number. It says the site from which it came, in this case just my local host, and it also includes a separate sheet with a ticket on each for every ticket that was in this order. You'll notice I ordered two tickets as this test buyer, and you'll see this one comes with two sheets, ticket 34 here, scroll down a little bit, ticket 35. A lot of people are probably going to ask right off the bat how they can customize this. The short answer is, unfortunately, it's not particularly easy. We're looking at ways to make customizing the ticket to meet your brand and to, to fall in line with your brand a bit easier. At this point, it isn't a particularly straightforward process, and it's going to require you to dig fairly deep into the plugin. So if you can live with it as stands, please do note that we are looking at ways to adjust this down the road. So I have these PDF tickets. I can either print them out or bring them on my smartphone. They're going to look good either way. But I have what I need to get into the event. As long as I have this with me, show up at my palace at 1008th Avenue on the date and time of the event itself, we're ready to go. Let's switch gears though. What if I'm the site admin and I want to be able to manage users showing up with these tickets? Well, it's a great question. We're going to come back into the back end of the site and we're going to go to the events list and find the event in question. If the event is taking place today, it's probably going to be relatively easy to access. Click into it. Scroll down to the tickets panel. And here, I can actually view an attendees list. If I click on that, it shows me everybody who has purchased tickets for this event. Up top, I have a summary of all the different ticket types that were available. If I had multiple tickets being sold, they'd all show up here with a breakdown of how much they cost and how many were sold. And down below, I have the orders themselves. I can filter if I have a huge amount of them. Since I only have six orders so far, I don't really have to worry about that. But what I do need to worry about is how I'm going to keep track of who's showing up for this event and who isn't. We know that attendees are going to be coming with these printed out or cell phone versions of their tickets. But how am I going to keep track of tying a specific user to a specific ticket? Well, it's easy. Let's say the order number 33, the buyer who bought both these tickets, which was me over in this order, comes up with these printed out tickets and says, I'm ready to go into the event. Can I attend? Absolutely. I'm going to mark you as checked in so that I know that you showed up and that nobody else can claim this ticket down the road. You'll notice that when you do so, it grays them out, it strikes them through, so it is explicitly clear if you have to step away and have somebody else take point on check-in, who has come and who hasn't. If you accidentally click one to check somebody in when they haven't actually showed up yet, just hit undo check-in, and it'll undo the work you just did. This way, at the end of each event, you'll be able to immediately run down the list and say, oh, we had three people not attend. You'll be able to click into the specific order number and find out who that person may not be, so you can follow up with them directly and wonder why. That's the process of using Woo Tickets, and this is how, from an administrative perspective, you can really make the most of it when you are organizing and hosting your events.
I thank you for sitting by and watching this and paying attention to me for the past 20 or so minutes, and I'm sure you may still have questions about going even further with the plugin, which is great. Please bring those over to the forum at tribe slash support slash forums, and we'll do what we can to assist. Thanks again for buying Woo tickets, and we'll see you on the forums.